Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Frame. The process of shaping and joining solid metal components is a monumental task reserved for the most formidable and resilient machines. Melting and forging massive metal components require thousands of tons of force at extremely hot temperatures of about 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. Large gas-powered industrial furnaces equipped with heavy-duty automated handling equipment are fundamental in the metal melting and forging process. The metal is first heated to the deformation temperature, which varies depending upon the type of metal, ensuring the metal will be flexible and pliable. This process is energy intensive and can take several hours of continuous heat energy output. Once ready, the metal emerges from the furnaces glowing red hot in color and is moved to the forging process with the use of a winch, forge lift, or integrated handling equipment. Here, the metal is forged by tons of pressure, which forces it into the desired shape. Using processes such as hammering, upsetting, or pressing, For certain metal parts, a final step may include rapid cooling in water. This process, which is called quenching, serves to further strengthen the metal, which solidifies as it cools off. But the process of quenching consumes large amounts of water to cool the metal, the machine, as well as general cleaning. However, Industiel, a leading metal forging company, has employed an innovative technique of using cooling towers, which limits excessive water withdrawals from the natural environment, by treating the used water and re-injecting it into the industrial process. As one of the biggest metal forging companies in the world today, Industiel has two facilities located in France, Le Creuset and Le Bray, which produce carbon, low alloy, stainless steels, and nickel-based alloys. Industiel also caters to a wide variety of clients across various sectors. The company specializes in the supply of big forgings and castings for the nuclear market. They have supplied over 2,800 forged metal parts for over 100 nuclear plants worldwide. They are also one of the very few forges in the world, capable of making the sophisticated parts necessary for the manufacture of the primary components of modern nuclear plants. These components mostly produced at the Le Creuset forge include reactor pressure vessels, steam generators, pressurizers, primary pumps, and primary piping. With advanced technological development in the foundry sector, some companies have taken the process of melting and forging metal up a notch. 
The SMS Group in Germany, a leading plant supplier to the metallurgical industry for steel, aluminum, copper, and metals, has manufactured industrial presses capable of exerting 60,000 tons of press. The sheer size of this press makes it so complex that it can only be assembled on site. The hot forging process as a whole is simply gas heating, followed by massive amounts of force and eventual cooling. This method usually serves as a foundation for the other forging processes. This energy-intensive pressing and shaping of thousands of pounds of solid steel augments the strength and durability of the final product to meet the manufacturing requirements of the most demanding applications in the market today. Some of which include lightweight vehicles and wind turbines and airplane components. The U.S. metal casting industry accounted for $44.3 billion in direct economic benefit in 2020, with a total national economic impact of $110.52 billion. The industry also provides 460,000 jobs through direct and indirect employment. According to a Census of World Casting Production report, global casting production netted about 109 million metric tons in the year 2019. Countries such as the United States, China, and India have been making a significant impact in the market. As the numerous industries of the world are increasing in scale, the foundry sector is also growing in regards to their operational output in order to accommodate the ever-increasing demands. This growth has enabled the foundry sector to stretch the boundaries of what is possible and to a truly massive scale. That's the end of this feature from The Frame. I hope you enjoyed it. Do subscribe to the channel to catch us on our next video. See you next time.